friends. Today, we are going to draw a birdhouse. Now, I don't know what kind of bird is in there. What kind of bird do you think lives in there? Hmm, well that's up to your imagination. Maybe it's a pizza bird, or maybe it's an alien bird. I don't know, that's up to you because you're the artist. But did you know to draw this birdhouse, we only need three basic lines and shapes? A line, an oval, and an arc. <laughs> well, let's see how it all fits together. So let's start off with a diagonal line. It's gonna start here, and it's gonna go down on an angle, just like that. And then we're gonna draw another diagonal line going this way, okay? So now, actually, I'm gonna extend this line just a little bit. Okay, so this one is a little bit longer than this one. All right, next we're going to create another line that goes out this way. And then we're going to have another line that comes down this way. And then we're going to connect these two lines. Just like that. Now remember, if you need to pause this video to catch up at any point, just pause the video, catch up at your own speed, and then join back in with us when you're ready, okay? So now I'm going to add another line, just straight here, straight down, and then add another diagonal line coming down this way. And I'm going to stop right about there. I'm going to add another line to connect this, just like that. And then over here, I'm going to add another short diagonal line like that. Next, I'm going to connect these lines and go straight across. And now we have one half of our roof. Okay, so over on this side, Let's have this line come down and then connect these two lines, just like that. And then we're going to have a line come straight across a short line like that and then come up on an angle, up, up, up to the top. And now we have our roof. You're seeing it kind of from the front, so you're not seeing this side this side of the roof, we only seeing this side of the roof, okay? So here we're going to add in two lines, one on this side, and then one coming down on this side. And we'll add one more back here. Right, let's extend this one just a little bit. Okay, next we're going to connect these two lines and close the shape. All right, this is looking great, everybody. Now let's have, let's see, let's imagine there's going to be, hmm, let's, connect this line here because we're going to have the hole for the bird to look out and then we're going to have a little post that comes out here a little stick that comes out and that's the perch that's where the bird can stand so let's draw the bottom line but leave a gap here okay we're going to almost close that shape but we're going to leave a little gap here all right next let's add that perch so we're gonna have a line go this way, and then another line below it, go across. And then we're gonna use an oval and connect those two shapes like that. And then we can use an arc to connect these two lines. And that is our perch. Okay, and now we, have, we can fill that gap and we can just have, continue that line over until it meets the, the perch. All right, next, let's add in a hole for the bird to look out. Now, imagine, maybe we should, you know what we'll do? We'll draw the bird first. Let's draw the bird first. So we're gonna use, we're gonna start right about here, and we're gonna have a line, 
and then we're going to attach an arc like that. And then we're going to have another line that's the top of the beak, and then the bottom of the beak. And then we can join those with a line. And then we can have another arc at the bottom so we can see the head now. And then we'll just add another line down like this. So now we can see that's where the bird will be. The reason we had to draw the bird first, I'll explain that, is because it's going to overlap the hole, and you'll see why. So first, let's just finish this, this birdie. We'll add an oval for the eye, and you can color that in. So beneath the head, we're going to add an arc. We'll start right here, right about there. We're gonna have this arc come in like this. And I want you to bring that arc all the way up to here and stop. Next, we're going to start, we'll continue, we'll continue the arc, actually. Let's continue that arc all the way down to here. And imagine that the line goes through here, but we're not gonna draw that line. Imagine that it goes all the way around. Now, you can see that our bird's head is in front of that line. That's why we didn't wanna draw through that. So we wanted the bird there first, so we could draw all of that. Now, what we can do is we can add in a little bit of depth. So we're gonna add an arc here and have it stop. And we'll add another arc here. And you can just continue that into the other arc there. Now it looks like the bird is looking out a little hole there. And if you want, you can color in this shape and you can color in around the bird in this shape. Okay, so now we have our birdhouse. Now we have to hang the birdhouse from a tree. So let's add two lines right here. And then we're gonna have a circle right there. Now on this side, let's start an arc. Got to go up and around and stop at the halfway point. And then we're going to start another arc here. And we're going to go all the way around and connect that. So that is called the eye screw. And that is going to be where the hook goes in. So here we're going to have a line come down. Go over that line. So you can see the hook comes down and it's going to go arc up just have a little arc come up, and then it's gonna continue on the other side, like that. And that is our hook that hangs from the tree. Look at our birdhouse, everybody. Great job following along. Now, how are you going to decorate your birdhouse? You can make it any color you want. You can put any design that you want on your birdhouse. Now, if you watch to the end, you can see what color choices and design choices that I made. And if you want, you can make those same choices. Or you can use your imagination and kind of come up with your own. It's up to you because you're the artist. Now, if you enjoyed this video, then subscribe to my channel and smash that like button because every like and every subscriber helps me make more videos. And I appreciate it so much. Thanks so much for following along with me today. I'll see you next time, everybody. Bye. Let's draw with Mr. Migrant. For this and other episodes, drawing lessons, activities, and books, please visit drawwithmrmike.com. And don't forget to subscribe to the Draw with Mr. Mike channel on YouTube, Vimeo, and Facebook. Draw with Mr. Mike. Let's draw with Mr. Mike. D R A W with M R M I K E.